from 2018 in croc style and it is four out of 49 in the world have you guys ever seen something like this i had no idea and welcome back to my channel so today for the very first time you know um, I take my new little beauty out with me and guys it is um, a beautiful sunny day in London let me run across the street <laughs> however um, it is the ice cold you know I'm ready for spring I don't know about you actually there's a Starbucks Maybe I should go get a Starbucks first, give me a second. Okay guys, that is better. <laughs> so today um, we are going to some, well I don't really know what you want to call them, pre-loved consignment shops that I've never been to. It's actually a pawn shop, but a luxury pawn shop. And I've seen that they've got a couple um, stores across London. Again, let me run. <laughs> they got a couple stores across London. I've never been there, so I thought, you know, let's look at some pawned Birkins. Why not? Um, so the first one that we're going to is right here um, at Monument Station. They have one in, I think, Hatton Gardens as well, and one in Knightsbridge. So let's see if we can make it to all of them today. Hi, guys. So uh, look at this. How beautiful it is in London today. Okay, let's go. It's up that road. And here we are guys, Posh Pond. So that's like I said, the first one in Monument. There we have a classic club. Actually, let's have a look around here. Yes, they do have some bags. So I think it's gonna be worth it. Um, let's see if they got some Birkins as well, some MS people. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at this one, 3,000 pounds. Okay guys, so we are in and it's such a beautiful shop. I mean, just look at these other pieces, you know. It's not only bags, they have jewelry, they have beautiful bags. And I just want to give you a quick um, tour of the shop and then we're going to try the jewels on, the ones we like the most. So here we have caviar cocoa handle. It's really amazing because you guys can actually see the price immediately as well. So, like I said, look at this. They have Kachi, they have oh, Bulgari, Rolex, everything you can possibly think of. And But we came for the bags, of course. Here we have a Prada, a nice little Gucci, and I think that's a good price. So, Chloe. Okay, I'm in love. <laughs> I know I have a pink mini Lady Dior, but how gorgeous is this? Um, and et voila, I promised you Pont Birkins and here we are. <laughs> so 15,000 guys, to be honest, for an Epson Birkin 30, such a good price. And it looks pretty, pretty new. Then we have lots of Tiffany, uh, another little Chanel bucket bag, MS scarves, Jessie, <laughs> that's something for you. There we have a Gucci Dionysus. Oh. Hello. <laughs> so you guys know I love my Capucine MM. This is an MM as well with a Python handle and an LV. Um, I like it when it's a little bit more understated and you know there's only leather covering the LV. But if you want to go a little bit more out and you want people to see that it's an LV bag then <laughs> go for this version. Like I said, Rolex. Okay guys, so what else do we have? Little Fendi backpack. And what does the price say? Thousand pound. Not too. Oh, okay, I'm in love. Okay, this is my highlight. <laughs> Eighteen thousand pound for an ostrich pink. I don't know what color it is. It is, is it bubblegum? Is it rose sakura? I think it's too dark for rose sakura, but it's beautiful. We have to try that one on for sure. A croc Kelly long wallet. I don't know the exact name of this bag. Oh, okay, so another Prada, guys, Roberto Cavalli. I always love the Roberto Cavalli logo because it's an R and snakes. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys get it, right? So here we have another little, oh, I've never seen this. This is like a shielding Chanel bag with a little um, sheriff stud. <laughs> I've got no idea from which collection that one actually is. Um, a large Chanel 19. I'm not the biggest fan of the large size. I prefer medium and small, just proportion-wise when it comes to my body. Um, yeah, so a Dior bag. They discontinued this model, right? Like long ago, I feel. 
um, I haven't seen it in the stores in ages. Oh, look at this. Another like wild, wild west Dior bag. Love it with all the studs. That is pretty cool. So there we have a blueberry, guys. Another little Chanel tote. A large Gucci. Gucci backpack, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> well, you're gonna find enough Gucci here. Oh, I love this Dionysus bag. Look how it's shiny and sparkly. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, I know I always say this, just so you know, if you want to find them, I put all their information and links to the website in the description box below the video. Um, so that it's easy for you to find these boutiques, these shops. So, wow. That is a nice rainbow python Fendi. It's not really a baguette. It's more, you know, it reminds me of the baguette style, but it's a little bit different. Here we have a Valentino stud and some Louis Vuitton. Are we ready for some Louis Vuitton? Look how beautiful Vachetta leather looks like when it's, once it's patinaed. You guys know I absolutely love this. Oh, this is even store fresh, guys. So, 1.7 for a store fresh Louis Vuitton bag. It comes with a box. It still has the stickers on the hardware. How amazing is that? There we have another Chanel and some men's Louis Vuitton bags and another little pouch. And this was, I think, from maybe a year ago, the summer collection. Here we are with actually the colors called Rose Tire or Rose Turie. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but ah, just in between these horses, how gorgeous is this? Um, I cannot believe it you know 18k honestly for an ostrich bag that's in such good condition it's a great find <laughs> okay let me show you so here we are what do you think about my green little dress by the way it's new so I love size 30 that's my favorite size in the world when it comes to Birkins you guys know that and what a beautiful pink I am in love how gorgeous is this mm. let me know what you think have you ever considered ostrich? You guys know that my husband always says ostrich looks like a plant chicken. Nice. Yeah, this is my highlight from today. So the color of this bag is called lime green. It's a size 30 as well. It's Epson leather. It has two twillies wrapped around the handles. I think with a light color like this, it's always a good idea to wrap some twillies around because you don't want to get your handles dirty, right? If it's such a light color. So yeah, this is very out there. I mean, just like my new Bottega bag, right? It's like, boom. <laughs> it's a pop of color um, in the literal sense. <laughs> so what do we think? Do you prefer this beauty or do you prefer like a yellow kind of color for spring and summer you know it's a great color i think again i think it looks awesome there's no corner wear while we're here you know i have to try this one on i love the look of vintage pieces because can you see how beautiful lambskin wears it's just incredible. I mean, I should wear my mini Lady Dior in pink more often, if you ask me, because it's a gorgeous bag. And even though it's a very fancy bag, you know, um, you can wear it to like a nice dinner, to a night out with your girlfriends. <laughs> um, it's also, to be honest, if I was just wearing like jeans and a white top today, and my Ark boots, I know, I just love them. <laughs> um, you can even style, dress this down, basically. That's what I think. Et voila, I feel like I still have to show you this one because <laughs> I love Dionysus bags. Um, I have a beautiful black one with like florals, of course, because everything is floral, right? I'm such a sucker for <laughs> floral bags. But this one really caught my eye as well. Well, let's be honest, everything sparkly and glittery <laughs> catches my eye. But yeah, this is a nice find. Love it. And to be honest, guys, I love wearing Dionysus bags just like as a single strap because it hangs well it sits at a really nice height plus they are so easy to open and close and they're super safe so this mechanism you know it won't ever open it's difficult for anyone if you're in a crowded place to open it if you don't know where exactly to open it it can be you know but because I'm so used to it because I have my Dionysus bag um, it's just super practical you know and what do we want more than a practical and a beautiful bag? Yeah, oh. from Christian Mars. Okay. Yeah, so I can leave it for you here. Guys, when we came in, we saw this one. And I thought it's a Birkin, but it's a yeah. statue. It's it a is statue. really heavy. It's very, very heavy. Oh my god, Brass. I can't even lift, <laughs> lift it. Heavy, yeah. 
I have never seen anything yes, like it. Something very different. Yeah. So if you want to deck. Yeah, definitely. Of the book, I'm going to have a look yeah. into it. Right. Um, do we know anything about it? How many of these pieces there are? Guys, this is incredible. Can you hear this? Yes, it's okay, brass. So it's, it's metal. Four out of 49. Oh, yeah, so okay. I need that one. Yes, perfect. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So this is the sack version. And from 2018 in croc style. And it is four out of 49 in the world. Have you guys ever seen something like this? I had no idea they made those. And I think the price was 3,000 pound only for such a collector. I mean, you can just put this in your living room, you know, and it looks like a real croc bag. <laughs> I love the effect that it actually looks like leather, right? But then it is metal. Is it functional? No, it's not functional, except for this. Wow. What? <laughs> I am tempted. Because I look at the stitching, the stitching in air quotations. It looks like stitching. It's just metal. Guys, I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you could tidy that up. Um, and obviously brass. Um, oxidizes so oh, wow okay it's from Christian Mars so I wonder if it's a collab if it has been a collaboration with MS or if it's just an artist basically you know making these pieces before we go to the next job I feel like we still need to try this one on because Chanel Coco Hände I love my Chanel Coco it was my wedding bag guys so <laughs> you can imagine how much I love this style uh, this is a size larger than mine. Um, yeah, pretty. Let me know what was your favorite bag. Hey guys, that was shop number one. I thought it was a beautiful shop. I thought they had beautiful pieces. I can only recommend you if you're here, drop in. I'm pretty sure they get new stock in all the time as well, it comes in sales, etc. So you never really know what you're gonna find there. Okay, let's go to the next one. How beautiful is London, guys? Mm. Okay, so we are just on our way to the next posh barn down that road. And there's a Chanel here. <laughs> so I thought let's have a quick look into the window display. I haven't been in Chanel for a while. Because, um, yeah, you guys know. <laughs> that is actually a beautiful necklace. I like how they dress this mannequin. Oh wow, this is like a leather dress. Can you see the texture? Cool. Some classic flaps in beige clear, nothing new. This is Daphne's, a really good um, Italian restaurant. I actually celebrated my wedding here. We had our wedding dinner in this place and right there next to it is a second posh pawn. There we have an LV, is that a keyboard? I don't know. Beautiful Lady Dior and a teeny tiny little micro uh, Christian Dior bag. Let's see what else they have. Guys, okay, so this is the second posh pawn and look at this marvel background i love it um so i cannot believe it we have a shadow birkin right here i definitely need to give you a close-up of this one in a second lots of ms bags lots of little sparkly clutches look at that is that judith leider judith leiber i wonder is this yeah oh wow amazing now let me show you my highlight <gasps> they have a purple birkin size 30 gold hardware my absolute dream and look at the beautiful veining on the Togo leather. It's absolutely stunning. There we have another, it's like a raisin color. It's like a really, really dark purple. I hope it comes across properly on screen. We have a blue Birkin and some Burberry pieces. And let's have a look. Givenchy, a Python Givenchy, Antigona, a Jumbo in beige clear, lambskin leather. That's gorgeous. To be honest, my favorite size is still the Jumbo. I know by now they cost like 10k, which is such a joke. So I would always tell you, come and look on the pre-loved market if you want to get a bag because the quality is still better and you find them at better prices. Here we have the beautiful a Lady Dior and a Baby Blue. Oh, look at this gorgeous piece. What a color. Hmm. Perfect for spring and summer. A little Gucci Dionysus. I have never seen this. It's like a tiger python. <laughs> and just like in the other shop, guys, you can find a lot of Cartier, 
There we have another little Louis Vuitton bag. This is the Shadow Birkin in size 35. Oh, actually the other one with the gold hardware. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Ah, oh, amazing. <gasps> Look at this. It actually still has the stickers on the lock and on the hardware. That is incredible. So, how much is the Shadow Birkin? Do we know? Uh, $29,950. That's not too bad, guys. Did you hear that? I mean, where can you find a Shadow Birkin? That is incredible. To be honest, oh, here we can see the price. And to be honest, I've never seen one in real life. Et voila, here we are. I mean, black on black. <laughs> it's maybe not the best combo because um, you can barely see it, but oh, wow. It's quite heavy, but every Birkin 35 is heavy, guys. You have to take that into consideration. It's, however, I think a great travel bag. So, um, yeah, would you ever consider Shadow Birkin? Let me know. And let's have a look at this little beauty as well. Hi. Oh, the dream, isn't it? Purple, gold, size 30. Yeah, okay, <laughs> we found her. <laughs> so, I love it. Should I go for purple or under money? You guys know this really dark pink. I love that one as well. And guys, it's 7K. 7K. 3K less. It looks like new. Mm hmm. <laughs> so this is, to be honest, maybe because like I'm 5'7", five, 5'8", five, this is my preferred size. I love the jumbo. I know lots of people have fallen out of love with it and everybody prefers the minis and the small size classic flaps nowadays. But believe me, big bags are coming back if you want a pop of color. Et voila, the regular Fendi Peekaboo. Uh, I have my Peekaboo ICU, it's the regular size as well, however the ICU looks a tiny little bit bigger because you have the stitching on the outside basically, it's like a cellier style, this is more of a retourné style. <laughs> okay guys, so that was it for today. <laughs> I am very much impressed with the Birkin artwork, the crocodile Birkin made out of brass, I, I, I didn't even know those pieces existed, so I'm definitely going to look into that artist. I kind of want it because it's like three thousand pounds and you know we're gonna move soon i'm gonna have a beautiful new dressing room i just want to have it as a little piece of art um, but it's so heavy i don't even know if my shelf could hold it <laughs> okay guys so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease yes we do and yeah i see you again very very soon bye i'm gonna enjoy beautiful london now Ciao!